Welcome to the DDI Heat Exchangers Rectangular Channels presentation. It's a unique patented heat exchanger that has rectangular channels. And the beauty of it is that it has wide gap, normally at least three inch, so nothing ever will get plugged in it. When you design a heat exchanger, you need two prerequisites. One is to have a high gap. And the reason you want it, because normally the pump is something like two and a half, two and three quarter inch diameter. So if it will not get plugged in the pump and you make it wider, three inch, you know nothing ever will get plugged in it. Also, you need, again, the number three, very fast flow. And that is in order to reduce the risk or not to have any baking whatsoever. So by having a rectangular channel, one can control how wide to make the channel in order to have a fast flow. Also, it's of course counter flow. You can see each layer, hot and cold, hot and cold, are touching each other, so it's very compact. When the flow goes out from layer one, let's say to layer three, layer five, etc., you see it goes outside 90 degrees, then up 90 degrees, then inward 90 degrees, then in the direction of the flow 90 degrees. And basically, what you get is a very, very fast uh, turbulence relatively compared to other technologies and that will increase the uh, efficiency of the heat transfer. Also, DDI will never have anything, any uh, layer less than quarter inch, and that's in order to uh, avoid any risk of uh, holes in it against erosion, especially in cold roast sludge. These six heat exchangers are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The references, for example, from Ashbrook Engineering and HDR Engineering and the City of Tulsa on our website. These two do sludge to sludge heat recovery. These two in the back do water to sludge and these two little one do cold water to sludge. And to save space, they put them one on top of the other. Each heat exchanger has in the sludge side a door that you can open if it ever gets plugged and also a David arm so you can swing the door open if ever needed. The other technologies, why they cannot do sludge to sludge or they are not so efficient even in water to sludge. The other technology, the tube in tube or tube in shell or shell in tube, basically even they can have a fast flow in the middle pipe and the heat transfer is done here in between the two layers. But in order to have a fast flow on the outside shell and to have a three inch gap it's just basically not possible because for the same flow when you have sludge to sludge uh, a heat exchanger for example the sludge coming into the plant has equal the sludge going out then if in the middle in the blue you will have a fast flow on the outside you will have a very slow flow it will bake and that's the reason that the tube in shell or shell in tube technology they know for many many years that they just simply cannot do sludge to sludge heat recovery and even their sludge to water is not so efficient. When you put this tube and tube side by side look how much space is wasted and basically that's the reason that they are so big. When you compare the sizing the DDI heat exchanger can have doors in both sides or let's say even door just for one side but in both cases for the same size the same BTU the same kilowatt of heat exchangers, the DDI heat exchanger will have only 19 feet overall length with the door swinging open. The tube and tube will need 20 foot plus another 20 foot for maintenance. It's, so DDI is about one third of the size. Also you see the heat transfer of the tube and tube is being done on the inner pipe which is this circular length. The DDI heat exchanger the heat transfer is being done the top of the layer plus the bottom of the layer. So this length of the top plus the bottom is much more than the, the round uh, pipe which is here. And basically DDI will have for the same flow area will have much bigger heat transfer. The last technology we compare to is the spiral technology and most uh, consulting engineers don't want to bother with it because they have problem with a spiral with one or two percent of the digested sludge, never mind the four or five or six percent of the coral sludge. The spiral cannot have more than one inch gap or one and a half inch gap. 
so basically only digested sludge can sludge can go in it and on the other channels it can only have water because it has the spins that keep it in space so for that technology to have sludge in both sides like to do sludge to sludge heat recovery or to do uh, high percent solids it's just not possible that's why the DDI heat exchanger even had sludge going in at 26% solid and never got plugged. Basically to summarize, the rectangular heat exchanger has 3 inch gap, nothing ever will get plugged. The widths controlled by the design to have a fast flow so nothing ever will get baked in it. The uh, uh, outside bends increasing the turbulence by mixing and basically that improves the heat transfer and the thick layers avoid any erosion and holes in the heat exchanger. The David arms to swing the door open, space could be saved by stacking them one on top of the other and it's the only heat exchanger in the world patented with many many heat exchangers installed in uh, USA and Canada and it will never get plugged and it can do sludge to sludge heat recovery with recovering the cost of the equipment in uh, about three, four, five months or water to sludge heat recovery. Thank you very much for willing to hear more about the DDI heat exchanger. There is much more information on our website and you guys can call us. Thank you very much. Bye.